Hey everyone, welcome to Crest TV. We are still here in Madrid for Modern Work Summit and Crest Drum Masters. You saw Sam and I on stage doing a kind of ghetto before the announcement, but the announcement's happened. It's old news now. Sam, how was it on stage doing all the product demos? There was a lot going on, but it was pretty exciting. And hopefully uh, everyone loved everything we showed. It was great. It was very exciting and honored to be able to do all those reveals. I know, and we were live streaming. I think there's something like 3,000 people globally watching the live stream. Yeah, I, you know, I, I admit it. I was a little nervous, but it was it was fun. It was awesome. Again, it's I want to show these products in the, in the best light. I mean, they're just so amazing. I'm so proud to be at Crestron and launch all of these great new products. And so, yeah, uh, it's a little easier now that uh, that it's all over. And that's what we do best. We launch products. Now, we've got a few of them. Desk pods have gone back already. We've, we've missed them. They're back on a plane already. Uh, but we have still got the Video Bar 70, the Desk Touch, and the Desk Q. So let's go. We've done the, the bar. Let's come to that in a second. Yeah. Let's go through the scheduling. Because this a lot of people are getting excited about this. So the Desk Q, let's start with that. So this is kind of an entry-level device. This is going to be a kind of low cost. Are we sharing price points? I'm putting you on the spot here. Any um, I well, I'll just say it. It's uh, we're at tar target price, yeah. uh, advertised price, uh, about uh, one hundred and fifty dollars or less, uh, U.S. dollars. So yeah, yeah. we think it's very affordable for that mass scale for for lots and lots of rooms. Yeah, that's going to be your bit. I mean, we had lots, lots of desks so yeah, far. we we had obviously Comcast here. I was with Paddy last night. One hundred and fifteen thousand people. You know, that's the kind of scale. You're not going to put something costly and expensive on one hundred and fifteen thousand desks, are you? So this is really your scale product. Absolutely. So we think that we could uh, organizations could put this on every desk within their organization. And then, you, so it's powered. It's USB-C, I think, isn't it, to power it, and it then it just connects to Wi-Fi. the back, right? Yep. So all you do is uh, plug in the USB-C, and then uh, um, and then you connect it to the Wi-Fi, and then that will allow you to use your platform to be able to schedule uh, schedule the desk, and then the LED will turn different colors based on the. Um, uh, based on if it's booked or not. So the updates come through the Wi-Fi network to this, and then it goes red, green, whatever. whatever color, and yeah. as soon as you, you got the QR code, then you can just say, I'm here, and then it's, it's locked in and loaded. Correct. Okay. Desk touch. So this takes it to a whole nother level. So it takes to another level. Okay, are, we, are, we, are we open to pull it apart? Yep. Okay, uh, let's pull it apart. So, you know, really the, um, <laughs> I'm putting him on the spot. We didn't rehearse any of this. Okay. We're just doing this ghetto style again. So, uh, so this, is, this is the actual desk yeah. touch. Uh, so we, we were, were showing it. I showed it yesterday on stage with the table mount. Mm -hmm. um, but there's actually a number of mounts within the, with, with the device. We'll, we actually have like 10 different, I don't know how many there are, but there's quite a few different ways to mount it because people have different deployment methods, right? Maybe someone wants to put it on a cubicle. Others want to put it on a wall. Maybe I want to put this on the desk. It will have options to lock it to the desk. You'll be able to swivel it on the desk. So lots and lots of pretty innovative. Even the even the mounts have been pretty innovative. But mm -hmm. so this is the desk touch here. Um, it has the LED uh, on the top LCD. I think it's a three and a half inch yeah, LCD yeah. screen um, built into the device. Um, you can see that it does have a PoE connection here, right. um, uh, or I could use the the, the power. Um, now, for this device, if I wanted to connect it to the network, I could either go over Wi-Fi. Oh, um, so there's still Wi-Fi in this so one. I could, if I wanted, if I was using a regular power yep. uh, connection, I could connect it to the Wi-Fi, similar as I was doing with the Desk Q. Right. So you don't actually need. I d there you are. I've learned something new as well as you do. Um, right. So Desk Touch. So this is this is obviously going to be for more h higher end, maybe offices yeah, or more those premium rooms, right? Or premium desks, yep. right? Like, and not every desk is created equal. There's some desks where you want to spend a little bit more, and you have a little bit more of a budget for those spaces, and so. So again, what we think we differentiate is that we have a portfolio of desk scheduling devices. Again, the other real differentiator, hopefully this came up on stage. I, a lot of people said, oh my God, my finger was shaking. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, it, it was a lot, it wasn't, had nothing to do with the caffeine I, I was drinking yesterday. But, um, you know, what, one of the real differentiators for the desk touch is it's a single button press mm. to schedule my desk, right? Most of the other, some of the other solutions in the market, you have to log in, you have to use a number of button presses here. Can you imagine like, logging in your password and you? Use a name a and too much. Yeah. So with a, a single button press, I'm able to book the space for a period of time. And then if I'm done, I can just press single again, single button press, and I'm done scheduling for them. Going home for the day. I'm going home for the day. Single button press. It now goes back into the into the uh, to the platform that's now green and available. Lovely. I can see these in those kind of like video pods, those video phone booths as well. That could be more of again a higher end desk Absolutely. space. Again, that that would be fitted Absolutely. better. So, you know, you'd have a little bit more smaller of a real estate, so yep. this fits there. Um, so we think that there's a lot of applications where uh, a model like this uh, will be really valuable. Very cool. Now again, I'll put you on the spot. Can you remember the three pr uh, platforms that we're launching with? Um, yep, I can. <laughs> uh, so we're going to start off with Tango, uh, Tango Analytics apps. 
Rackspace and Calvin will be the first three. We have a number of others that will come shortly after then. Um, and again, talk to us if you're using a workplace reservations tool and you, you would like uh, that to work with this. So definitely talk to us. Very, very cool. So those are the two. Uh, oh. so have one other, have one other special. Go. Looks like uh, Lauren is coming. Uh, she took it off. Of oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. How great is Lauren? Um, so this is FlexPod. FlexPod. Uh, so this is the FlexPod. Again, FlexPods are a solution that includes two parts. There's the FlexPod Hub, which we don't have. That's, it would be That's on the plane. <laughs> Most people would never see that anyway. Yeah. That'd be sitting behind the monitor, connecting to your Teams room, your Zoom room, um, your Air Media. Even again, it could work for bring your own device if you wanted that flexibility with this type of a solution. Mm. Um, but the real the, the the device that people are going to be seeing that includes the microphone, the speakers, and the control for the audio is the FlexPod, and that's what we have in this device right here. Now uh, we've obviously done this for a long time, and we've talked about radiuses and diameters, and it's all the way. So pickup range on each one of the individual pods. Um, what is the pickup range on so it? So it's a seven foot or 2.1 meter mic and speaker radius. So that's that's 2.1 total. Radius. Okay, yeah. No, uh, uh, 2.1 radius. Right? From any direction. Di di from any direction. Right, correct. Got it, okay. Um, and we'll work that out in feet. We'll put it on the, the yeah. thing. <laughs> All good. Now we've got controls on these as well. So we've got the ability to mute them. If you've got four of them, if I hit mute on one, I assume it syncs and they all it sync on all of them, correct. And volume is the same. Same. Yep. Very cool. Um, There's one thing I'd like to talk about cool. to make sure that I'm clear. Uh, so it does it does require power, right? Yep. So while we say it's wireless, yep. um, it actually would connects from the uh, from the pod to the hub, leveraging a technology called DECT, uh, D-E-C-T. Now, most people would be familiar with DECT because of it's in the headset uh, space. Yep. The old it's very phones that used to be exactly. Yep. So it's very a wireless yep. cordless phone from years ago. So it is uh, that's very secure. Works really well in in in. Um, uh, very wire uh, contentious. Yeah, networks. I mean, it's like Bluetooth 2.4, 5 gig, all that RF noise going on. Decked is a completely discreet band, isn't it? Correct, and and so it's it's more secure, works better in noisy environments, um, and secure with audio is obviously really important. Yeah. Um, and then works great in, in in distances. So we'll support our rooms up to 50 feet, however many meters wow. that is. I don't know. Now, um, so again, it does require power. That's a key um, in that, uh, you know, the part of the reason we chose to have power on these devices is that you don't want to walk into your conference room. Uh, the person before you forgot to charge yeah. the device and now I don't have an audio yeah. solution. So we thought that by enabling, putting power into this device, it's going to give you that consistency. It's always going to work. So it does require power, but that's the only wire that would need to be connected yeah. to power these devices. And then everything else is wireless back to the FlexPod hub. And who knows, a battery dock in, in the future? Who knows? If you want one, you know, tell us. Um, the, I mean, that's so true. If People want and say, I want, I want battery. But what they, then they actually look at the reality of that. No one puts these things back on charge. Someone important will come in and go, this thing doesn't work because it's never been charged. Now, I just want to pull you up. The, the connector you're pointing to, I think that's a Kensington lock because that's the other thing people are going to go is it's wireless. People are going to steal it. So it has got a Kensington lock, I think. Um, I don't know if it has a Kensington well, lock. I think that's the USB for power. That's a Kensington lock. Oh, okay. There, there you go. See, there you, go. you. I, I learned. I see. Now I'm looking at the back. I'm like, ah. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be the thing. You know, people are going, oh, these are going to get stolen. They're going to get nicked. Well, people are going yeah, to come in. The, the key here is this is not a personal device, no. right? This is not meant for someone at their desk. This connects wirelessly back to the hub. Yeah. Without the hub, yeah, but, but, but customers will say, people will not know that, but still go, oh, that's shiny. I love that. It's, it requires the hub to, to, to work. Yeah, so they can be secured to the desk. Right, flex pods, and it's four. You can do from one to four pods can connect back to a single hub. And the hub is then USB-C to your favorite collaboration tool that you want to use. Correct. Cool. Right. Now, again, you didn't ask me on that one, and I don't really. <laughs> this is so fun. Uh, so the pricing is, I believe, it's it's for the solution. It's under a thousand dollars US, so and then each pod is. Uh, and again, I'm talking advertised price. So yeah, yeah. Um, let's let's get let's come back to the price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, but this is so cool. Again, you've got all these these bars and all these front of room devices, but the flex pods are going to be able to allow you to fill that larger space. If you've got problems with acoustically challenged rooms, glass walls, all those echo. That's where FlexPods are going to really up your game. Totally. Or again, you've got uh, these flexible rooms where the walls divide. Again, spread them out, put them around the room. FlexPods, I mean, again, I think as we said, that's the one that people are getting most well, captivated. I'm so excited about that one. It's all the NDAs I, I pre for customers I pre-briefed, they have just been so excited over this. It seems to really hit a nerve in solving a really big problem for customers. Okay, last but by no means least, stretch, stretch your muscles. <laughs> Here we go. So... The Crestron Video Bar 70. Yeah. 
So all in one video bar device, so it includes the microphone, camera, speakers, and the Android compute in a single device. Yep. We'll run the platforms, uh, the, the, all the different key platforms that uh, Crestron's been known for is who we're working with. Um, really targeted for medium to large rooms, has, four, has 24 microphones, stereo speakers will give really great audio, both from a microphone pickup and a speaker coverage uh, for, for those medium and large rooms. Yep. Uh, has the four cameras, the key with the four cameras, 185 degree field of view, 441 degree field of view. Breathe. I know. I'm just <laughs> trying to get, there's a, a oh, lot good. here. No, no, no. Sure, You're just trying to get it all yeah. out. Um, but again, I think the real key value is in the going to be in the cameras. Yeah. They're going to give that really high quality video image for people that are uh, up to up to 30 feet or over nine meters away. Uh, what, and a couple other key points go, 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 um, go, go, go. Uh, that you'll see a lots of inputs and outputs on this device, right? We're crash drawn. I picked it up on the stage. He was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of ports. There are a lot of ports uh, on this device, and again, it, we're crushed on, right? We're integrated rooms, doing, uh, uh, doing, uh, going above and beyond is what we're known for, yeah. and so we're absolutely doing with this device. You could also see some of the mounts for this, so we're making it very easy to deploy, install these. And if I if I did have to get at the cabling, we're making it very nice and easy to actually get at all the ports. So it was a, a lot of thought went into solving the real big problems for customers with the Video Bar 70. Right. Let's talk through some of these ports. So I can see I can see uh, five HDMI in total so that's three outs so three outs yep. three uh, three hdmi outs two hdmi ends and you can think some of the use cases for the hdmi ends one could be a uh, uh for content sharing one could be for another camera yep uh then we've got some audio line in line audio outs control, you think? two lands in there two land ports two land ports so there's i mean just lots of inputs and outputs for all sorts of applications and again lots of usbs on the usb c's usb a's and again control is what we do here at crestron control Absolutely. is where we are uh, and lastly uh, the cameras are all open at the front always the thing we think you hear from customers oh someone's put tape over the lens cap someone's what about privacy i mean are they always going to be open are people going to no, be worried so we, were just, we, we were forcing it open because we wanted to show everyone the lenses during all the demos but there is a, a mechanical shutter so when i'm not in a call when it's asleep there, there will be an automatic privacy shutter so all that will go away also the, the i've been showing the the light bar being green yeah, yeah. Uh, but it will turn red if i'm muted uh, so there, there will be more um more lights with the light bar and again that physical shutter we think is really important and control wise we've got the t the touch panel the ts1070 will be shipping we'll with this with the ts1070 uh, good excellent and then obviously all your favorite collaboration applications will be coming on this and this is coming later this year yeah it'll be coming uh, later in 2023 come see it at infocom that is the big thing. All of these products that we're showing here, you can touch them, feel them, and, and have a look at them, try them, play them, and see the quality, hear the quality at Infocom in Orlando. Is it, I'm going to guess now, 20 something of June, do you uh, know? June 14th, I believe, June 14th, 15th, 16th, something like that. You can find it on infocom.com. Make sure you get a crestron.com for more information on all of these new product announcements. And make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends that Crest TV is the place to be, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.